I'm Chair Masara and I'm currently studying an advanced diploma in electrical engineering focusing in electrical systems and my job is I do part-time works uh, which is mainly focused in repairing and installing electrical gadgets. Well, I chose engineering because I'm more of a hands-on person. I like to use my hands a lot and since childhood I've always been interested in repairing electrical gadgets. Uh, you know those TVs, those DVDs back then. So yeah, that's why I ventured into engineering. Well, I do electrical reparations and installations, which mainly include solar installations. That's what I've been mainly focusing on, and house wiring. Uh, so I've been working with my female colleague. Uh, you know, we've been trying to minimize the male domination in this electrical industry. Well, it has given me the opportunity of studying the advanced diploma so that I can be able to achieve my dream, which is becoming a full-time electrical female engineer. As you know, we have uh, 60 minutes in a week for lectures, so I get to organize and plan my things ahead. You know, I would have to make sure that on the day that I have the lectures, I would make sure that I have nothing that I'm doing. As you know, that attendance is really important. It's marked, it has some percentage that it adds. So I have to make sure that I have nothing that I'll, I'll be doing on that day. So it's really good, it's really flexible. It has taught me how to be good at communicating. As you know, we have a lot of students who come from different countries that I'll be learning with. Uh, and it has also taught me how to, to manage my time well, especially when it comes to balancing my life, my work, my personal work, and my studies. The best part uh, for me is uh, remote labs. You know, there are a lot of softwares on remote labs that I didn't even know how to use because at my previous uh, college, uh, the technology is not really advanced. So I am really happy to uh, now know how to use AutoCAD, which I didn't even know how to use. It was very much complicated. Now I know how to use PCM, I know how to use ProJuice and so many more um, softwares that are there on remote labs. You know, as we do each module, each module is uh, a different type of software that we'll be dealing with. So uh, it's more like uh, AID is keeping me uh, updated with the technological involvement. Well, I have to advise them that they have to be ready for the challenges they are going to face because you know you'll be questioned a lot in this uh, male-dominated industry. You'll be questioned if you'll be able to do the things that the males do. Uh, but at the end, you know, you'll be able to overcome them just like how I did. Look at me and here yeah, I'm studying my advanced diploma and I think it's fine. I'm, it's good. It's a good journey for me. Considering that I'm doing my advanced diploma now, I hope that once I graduate, I'll be able to fully become a female electrical engineer. And I really hope that will be able, that I will be able to inspire other women out there who would like to focus or would like to study engineering. And I really hope this will better my country. It makes me feel proud just because, you know, a lot of females don't want to be in this industry. They're scared of what they will face and the questions they will be asked, will you be able to do this? Will you be able to do that? But for me, I was like, yes, I can do it. That is for me.